Good morning, guys. So, Fidelity Dollar Based Investing, how does it work? I'm going to put it in action here today. I'm actually in my garage, I'm working. So, I figured why not check out the market, see what it's doing, take a little break. And of course, the market today, since this is Monday, is getting uh, getting a little beat up. Not too bad. There's some stocks that are really on sale, um, like you know your cyclicals, like Carnival Cruise Line, or not or discretionary, I guess. A lot of people are jumping on that. Um, I debated on it. I didn't do it, but. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about Fidelity and it's dollar-based investing. You'll have to excuse me. Like I said, I'm in my garage, so you'll probably hear traffic and uh, traffic noise. So what you do is you log in. It tells my wife, good morning. Good morning, babe. And uh, you go to transact. You go to trade. And you pick the account you want to deal with and right now I'm going to deal with the Roth IRA and I'm going to enter symbol and today we are going to buy Pfizer and I'm going to buy it in a few different ways so that you see each way that you can make a transaction here on the Fidelity app and with dollar based investing dollar based investing so the symbol for Pfizer is PFE and then you want to click buy and you can do shares or dollars it's up to you so if you wanted to just do dollars we'll go click on dollars we'll click uh, it'll pop up what it's uh, selling for right now and I'm gonna just buy five dollars worth of Pfizer right now click done it'll show you what uh, estimated shares are you can choose market or limit this is huge so you can choose your limit price um, uh, based on you know if you wanted to pay 3502 or if you wanted to place if you didn't want your order to execute sorry guys if you didn't want your order to execute until it hit 3502 that's the price you would put in there I'm going to do a market order just for now. And it'll preview order. And every time it's going to give you a acknowledgement by placing the order, you agree to the terms and all that. Um, so estimated order value of $5. Uh, no commissions. No conditions because I didn't put a limit order. I put it as a market order. And you go place order. there you go view order status and the order status says filled at 3503 so we'll go back to transact we'll go to trade back to the Roth IRA then we'll buy Pfizer again uh, buy now shares you can do shares if you wanted to buy a quarter let's put, bring that up a quarter share you can buy a quarter share at market estimated cost of 876 excuse me so you order enter the amount of shares it could be you know half a share if you wanted to buy a half a share three quarters of a share 0.43 shares however that works for you so preview order Scroll down to view all the fees, no fees, obviously. It's a market order, no conditions, place order. And view order status. And there you go. Bought uh, 0.25 shares at market price, filled at 3501. So it got a better deal as time goes on. Now let's just do one more that I'll show you here. We'll go to PFE again. Buy. Um, 
you can do dollars I'll just show you a limit order I wanted to do a uh, $5 buy with a limit we'll go to limit and we'll see the bid is at 3501 say I only wanted to bid uh, $35 you know click done preview order and then here your order type is a limit at $35 a share click place order and we'll click view order status and we'll see that uh, the my $5 market sell on top there filled at 3503 me buying uh, 0.25 shares or one-fourth of a share at market price was filled at 350163 and my $5 limit order at $35 is still uh, pending so if that will update it see if it if it fills and it doesn't fill so if what would happen is if Pfizer gets down to $35 or below this order will fill at $5 it will buy you $5 worth now a lot of times like you'll see right here um, it says filled at 350163 so if you're wondering why your if you had a limit order placed at 3501 your limit order would have not would not have filled cuz even though a lot of times you won't see it on your brokerage uh, a lot of shares will trade at these fractions you know past the penny so even if you had a 3501 and it stopped uh, the price stopped dropping at 3501.63 your order would not fill I hope that makes sense because even though you don't see it right up front in your brokerage because they usually only do your round numbers um, a lot of times shares do trade at those um, at those fractions at those decimal places so let's refresh it one more time see if that happened to fill nope it didn't fill so so that's how it's done guys um, you know I did a market order I did a uh, I did a five dollar dollar based market order I did a, a quarter share uh, market order and I did a uh, dollar based limit order so those are all the, the orders you can do as far as dollar based investing um, you can also do limit or I didn't do it but you can also do limit orders on your uh, shares if you wanted a quarter share you can also place that as a limit order as well so that's all I got guys if you have any questions on dollar based investing uh, please leave them down below and we'll talk to you later thanks bye bye